Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome to If You're New. My name is Abria Perry and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to do the get to know me tag. I never did it. I'm still relatively new to YouTube. I actually am still really new to YouTube. I've only been making videos for a few months and I wanted to do the get to know me tag because I love to watch these videos. I'm nosy. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I have the list of the questions here, but before I get started, I wanted to just say some things about myself that aren't necessarily one of the questions. So my name is Abria Perry, as you can see from the title of my channel, but most people call me Brie, Bria. Um, I am a sophomore at the illustrious Clark Atlanta University. I am a business administration major and I have a dual concentration in finance and international business. So if you watch my vlogs, you already know that I go to CAU and you already know that I'm a business major. But for all my loves who are new to my channel, I'll tell them a little bit about myself. So I go to school in Atlanta, Georgia, but I am originally from Boston, Massachusetts, the city of champions, and yes, I am a Patriots fan, so if you hate us and you hate me, I'm sorry, but I still love you. <laughs> but anyway, let me get into these question number one. Are you named after anyone? I actually am named after somebody. My mom had a student way before I was born. She was an administrator at a school and she had a student named Abria and she told the girl the young lady that if she ever had a daughter she was gonna name her Abria because she loved the name that much and she told my dad she's like you know Jeff my dad's name is Jeff she's like Jeff do you like the name Abria because if we have a daughter I want to name her Abria and lo and behold your girl popped up and they named me Abria so I am named after that Abria who was one of my mom's students Oddly enough, we have a family friend who we met, you know, years after my mom had that student, but before I was born, and the girl, Abria, who was my mom's student, is actually his niece, and he named his daughter Abria as well after his niece. And then there is a little girl who goes to our church. I believe she's about seven years old now and her name is Abria and she was named after me because her mom loved the name so much. So I know two other Abrias and one I'm named after and the other one is named after me. <laughs> so I guess that's a little odd, but do you use a lot of sarcasm? I do, I can be an absolute smart aleck. I think I get it from my brother. I'm, I'm like, I know this sounds crazy, but I really do think I get it from my brother because he can be so smart alecky and he went to an all boys school from like the seventh grade until the twelfth grade. So come on, like that's a lot of sarcasm, that's a lot of stupid jokes. <laughs> and you know, being a little sister, you want to be just like your older sibling. So I do think that I developed a lot of my sarcasm and my sense of humor from him as well as my dad who's just like a goof he's just like super silly to begin with um so yeah i'm pretty goofy and i'm pretty sarcastic what is your eye color my eyes are brown nothing particularly interesting just regular brown eyes scary movie or happy ending happy ending like i am not a scary movie person i don't care what kind of scary movie it is I, I I don't care I don't care if it's like a murder scary movie or if it's like a demonic scary movie I don't want it I'm not interested not I not your girl not the kid you will not catch a Bria watching any scary movies I am a baby I have been a baby and that's just my energy I can't I can't, I can't do anything favorite smells okay chocolate my house I know this sounds weird but, but you know, your house has a smell. Like there is a distinct smell that is home. My house smells like this potpourri that my mom has literally been using my whole life. It's like her favorite scent ever. And obviously she gets, you know, she refreshes it. But that's literally what my house smells like. So my clothes, like just everything pretty much smells like that potpourri. And I never really, re I never realized it for real until I or how much I really loved it until I went away to school and I came home from my first break and I walked in the house and I was like 
home like wow it smells like home okay chocolate in my house and anything my grandma is cooking either of my grandmas my grandma my dad's mom or my mini who is my mom's mom anything either of them are cooking is one of my favorite smells so chocolate my house and anything my grandma's cook are my favorite smells hands down I don't care if you bring me you know the world's most amazing perfume and will not have those three things beat notice chocolate was the number one no I'm playing that was in no <laughs> that was in no particular order do you have any special talent do I have any special talent? Um, when I was little, I used to be able to do Fran Drescher's voice. You know, the nanny, the show, <laughs> the show, the nanny. But I'm not, I'm not even about to do it on here right now because I'm not about to like play myself like that and have this clip turn into some type of I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not even gonna do it to myself right now. I'm not even gonna do it. Where were you born? I was born in Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts on February 20th, 1998. Your girl is 19 years old. <laughs> what are your hobbies? I like to run. I was a sprinter. I ran the 55, 200, 100, and occasionally the 400. And I'm not even going to say occasionally the 400. I probably ran the 400 twice in my entire track career. And if you have ever run the 400, you know why I have only run it twice. Mm -mm. <laughs> not for me but I like to run um, and I make YouTube videos this has become my new hobby I absolutely love it do you have any siblings I do I have an older brother his name is Jordan if you watch my vlogs again you have seen him in them he is 24 years old about to be 25 in about a month and that is my homie we are five years apart and he is a boy but that has absolutely never been an issue like that's my best friend my ride or die like <laughs> if you have siblings and you're super close to them like you know what i'm talking about you this is just another person who gets you because you're made of the same two people what do you want to be when you grow up lord i wish i knew No, I'm playing. Um, I'm interested in a, a lot of things. I'm Obviously, I have a concentration in finance and um, another concentration in international business. And while I'm very, very interested in both of those, I feel like it's really hard to just say, I want to be this or I want to be that. Because in 2017 going on 2018, the world is just so... There are so many possibilities and like we're continually changing and growing and there are just so many opportunities you don't have to have the typical career that you know maybe our parents grew up on or our grandparents like me telling my grandma that people make money you know by literally just sitting in front of their camera and doing their makeup and they make real money it, it, it baffles her so it's like you can turn anything that you want to do, anything that you love into a career these days. So, I'm open. Like, I don't want to attach myself to one particular thing and say, that's what I want to do and that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. I honestly just want to, like, explore and see what really works for me and what, you know, really excites me. I know that I want to be a business owner. I know that I want to create something and develop it and grow it and I do know that whatever I create whatever type of business I have whatever business ventures I create throughout my life they will have a philanthropic aspect like community service giving back philanthropy all of that good stuff taking care of one another is so incredibly important to me so whatever I do whatever I create throughout you know the rest of my life anything that I'm making money off of some of that money or my time or whatever it might be will be contributed back to the greater good so I do know that when I grow up I want to be a good person 
<laughs> let's put it that way I just I want to be a good person I obviously want to be able to take care of myself I want to be able to take care of my family but at the end of the day I want to make sure that I continue to be a good person in that making money does not take away from me being a good person you know what I mean <laughs> I don't want to be doing anything for the almighty dollar <laughs> who was your first best friend my first best friend and my best friend to this day her name is Paulina I hope she's watching this video she will be watching this video she watches all my videos because she is my girl her name is Paulina she is my heart I literally feel like I say that about everybody but like I just have so much love for the people in my life and that is my baby like her mom and my grandmother my maternal grandmother they worked together when we like before we were born and my grandmother retired right before I was born like perfect time blatant timing um, because she wanted to take care of me so after my mom had me and Paulina's mom had her. We are six days apart. I'm February 20th and she is February 26th. That is, she's my twin, basically. And, um, yeah, my grandma took care of us our entire, you know, first the first couple years of our life. Like, we were together every single day because my, mom, my grandma would take care of us while our parents went to work. And she was my first friend, my best friend, still is my best friend to this day and she will appear in a video at some point she currently lives out of state she doesn't live in boston anymore but that is still my boo and she's doing her thing and i'm very proud of her i'm very proud of all my friends um old friends new friends friends i've met since i've been at cau and it's just it's so nice to see everybody grow up and be doing well for themselves and doing good things like Obviously, you're always going to have, you know, some people who get a little lost along the way, but they always find themselves and as long as everybody is, you know, still alive and breathing and happy and healthy, I'm happy. That's really all I need. How tall are you? I am 5'4". I think I am 5'4 flat. I like to believe that I am 5'4 closer to 5'5". Five five. But I'm 5'4". I used to think I was really tall. Yeah, I used to think I was really tall. I had kind of like a random little growth spurt at one point, and I was slightly taller than everybody else in my class, but I'm pretty sure that was around like fourth grade. And um, ever since then, it gave me like a false sense of height. <laughs> um, but I am not that tall. So, yeah, I'm about 5'4 and probably closer to 5'3 than I am to 5'5. Five five. What is your favorite drink? My favorite drink is water. Like, I love water. I know that sounds crazy. I am pretty much a little fish. What sports do you slash have you played? Like I said, I ran track for a good amount of time. I also played basketball. I played tennis. Did I do anything else? I was a cheerleader um, when I was younger. And I also did gymnastics for a little while. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Ooh, this is a good one. I love, I literally have so many, and there are so many people who I have been watching since like YouTube pretty much, you know, beauty bloggers and all that good stuff kind of like got popping, and they're just people who it's like, I feel like I've grown with, I've kind of like grown up with, and it's like you feel like you know them. Like Natural 85, I started watching her when I was in like the 8th grade and she didn't have any kids and now she has kids and like her daughter is big and she just had a little son and it's like you just feel so good because even though you don't know these people, it's kind of like you do and I don't know. I just get real happy. <laughs> I just get real happy for people but um, I have my different little section. As far as like beauty and like makeup, I love Shayla. Um, I like Patricia Bright. I just think she's like such a warm, like bright spirit. Um, like aesthetic wise, I love Danielle Carolyn. She's amazing. She's a college student as well, and I just love her flow. I I just like her aesthetic. I like her energy. She, she seems like a genuinely sweet person as well. Um, 
like vlogs i love amber martin she seems like such a sweetheart um her family is adorable her little brother is adorable and i could honestly just go on all freaking day when it comes to youtubers i love but <laughs> yeah favorite memory from childhood i have so many um i guess to give like a general category would probably be any thing with my family in it not just like my mom my dad and my brother but my extended family my family as a whole we're really really close um on both my mom's side and my dad's side and i've been really fortunate that my family as far as like obviously i have family all over the place but like my parents siblings and my cousins and um, my parents cousins who then had children who are you know my cousins as well we all live in the same state and we all live you know very close together um, Massachusetts is not that big to begin with so we all pretty much live in the like metro Boston area and I can get to you know my cousins and my family in a very short time and I've been very very blessed to be able to grow up with them to grow up with um, you know, both my grandparents, sets of my grandparents, um, and just have a really good support system. So, anything involving my family is definitely one of my favorite memories. How would you describe your fashion sense? My fashion sense is however I'm feeling. <laughs> I don't know. Like, one day you might catch me in a j crew skirt and a turtleneck with some penny loafers on and the next day you might catch me in like some joggers and some jordans it's really kind of whatever my energy is what is a bad habit of yours i have a bad habit of overthinking things i can overthink something into the ground um, I think it's because I'm very logical I'm very analytical that's why I like finance I like numbers and sometimes if one little detail or something is missing it kind of trips me up so sometimes I overthink things that nothing's necessarily missing it's just it might not fit in my head the way that I think it's supposed to fit but such is life things don't always go your way things aren't always the way that you think they should be and that's just the way it is but that brings me to my last question i hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoy talking to you like i said i love watching these videos and i love just learning more about people because this really is a great community and there are really some amazing amazing people on youtube and just in the world in general so I hope you all enjoy this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And come back. I don't want you to miss any of the fun. And I will talk to you all next time. Thank you so, so much for watching.